Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Money Ho. In today's video, we're going to be going through seven and saying things that rich people did with their money. But before we get into the countdown, I want to let you guys know that we will be picking one lucky subscriber every month to win a shout out at the start of a video. All you must do to enter is subscribe to our channel, like the video and comment down below saying I subscribed. Good luck guys. Now that any further ado, let's get into this countdown. Number 1. South African President Jacob Zuma justified spending $15 million of taxpayer money on multiple pools on his house in case of fire. This has got to be one of the funniest entries on our list, especially since the South African President is such a figure. He was serving his second term as President until March 2016 when the court ruled against him for using government money to fund his lavish lifestyle. He used the money to upgrade his private residences, including building a cattle enclosure, amphitheater, swimming pool, a visitor center, and a chicken run, whatever a chicken run may be. When confronted about using government funds to build multiple pools on each of his private properties, he justified saying that these are security upgrades. What if one of the homes were to catch fire while he was inside? He would need quick access to water. Officially, he's worth a little under 20 million US dollars, but many from the country speak of his dark past and involvement in a controversial $5 billion arms deal signed in 1999, saying that over 90% of his wealth is currently outside of the country. He's also a proud polygamist following a Zulu tradition and currently has four wives. I just wanted to slip that in. Number 2. The Sultan of Brunei has a car collection worth at least $300 million. If you're a car guy or gal, the Sultan of Brunei is probably what you think of as goals. If you were alive in the 80s and early 90s, the Sultan of Brunei was the richest man in the world by far, until he was replaced by Bill Gates and soon the industrial elites. The wealth of this man is almost incomprehensible. Not only does he own one of the top 10 most expensive private jets in the world, and he held one of the most expensive parties in history, he also has a private car collection with over over 5,000 cars, valued at over $300 million. Last time someone checked, he had over 600 Rolls Royces, 300 Ferraris, over 450 Mercedes, 200 BMWs, and as you can imagine, at least a couple of all the supercars in the world. Every time a luxury car company makes a new model, it's shipped to him with the add-ons. These cars are spread over multiple garages, private museums, and warehouses. They're basically like candy stores for car enthusiasts. His brother is almost as bad, spending on average $746,000 per day for 10 years. Number 3. Drake bought his neighbor's house so he can't complain about the noise. We all know Drake is a baller, but to be honest, we're quite impressed when we found out that the lyrics from Where You At featuring Future were actually true. Apparently, the rapper paid $2.85 million to purchase the house next door to his place in Hidden Hills, California after his neighbor filed a second noise complaint. To be honest, we don't think that's the single reason for the purchase and more like an investment in a high-priced real estate area. His property actually hit the market a couple of months ago for $8 million in total. The gated community also also is home to Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, Miley Cyrus, Britney Spears, Ozzy Osbourne, and a couple of other high-profile celebs, so it might be worth checking out. Number 4. Pablo Escobar once spent almost $2 million in cash just to keep his daughters from getting cold. While on the run, if you've watched the TV show Narcos, you are probably familiar with both this story and the incredible life of drug lord Pablo Escobar. This is probably one of the craziest stories involving him, and he's the guy who spent a quarter million dollars a year on rubber bands alone, just to keep his cash together. While he was on the run with his family and hiding from the cops, he was left stranded in the jungle. In order to keep his daughter from getting cold during the night, he literally burned around $2 million to keep her warm. His life would probably top everything we have on the list. Number 5. Johnny Depp's lifestyle is costing him $2 million a month, $30,000 on wine alone. Johnny Depp is a clear example that it doesn't matter how much money you're making. If you really, really want to, you can spend it all. He's definitely one of the most remarkable actors in our generation, making over $650 million in his entire career. Last year alone, he made $50 million. He usually gets $20 million upfront check for each of his Pirates of the Caribbean movies, with additional pay coming after the movies are shown in the theaters. He had a messy divorce to Amber Heard, the current girlfriend of Elon Musk and is currently in a $25 million lawsuit against his business manager. Everything was topped off when Johnny had his first month unable to pay his $2 million bill for his lavish lifestyle. So what did he spend so much on? Off the top of the list, there is $3.6 million annually for his 40-person staff, $350,000 monthly for maintaining his 156-foot yacht, $36,000 monthly for wine alone and get this, he spent $5 million, we're not kidding, to shoot his dead friend's ashes out of a cannon. 
Number 6. Mark Cuban once bought a $40 million jet on eBay The billionaire investor and Shark Tank celebrity made history in 1999 when he purchased a $40 million private jet on eBay. It went down as the largest e-commerce transaction in the world at the time and it was inserted in the Guinness Book of World Records. He became a billionaire earlier that year and he sold his company Broadcast.com to Yahoo for $5.9 billion. Since then, he's added two more to his collection, a Boeing 767 that he rents out and a Boeing 757. The man obviously values his time and says buying a brutally expensive jet is one of the best investments he's made, since it allows him to save more on the most expensive thing in the world. Just for those wondering, his record was shattered in 2005 when someone bought a $140 million yacht also on eBay. Number 7. After scamming the population of Romania, Soren Ovidiu Vantu made love to his wife on $100 million in cash in his living room. You might have never heard of this guy before, mostly because he's from Romania, an Eastern European country. To back things up, Romania was a communist country until 1989, and when communism fell, the country's economy was up for grab. In a tell-all interview, he talks about how after communism fell, his main goal was to cash in. He and the former security elites were like piranhas, trying to get their hands hands on everything. Only one year later, he was living in a four-bedroom apartment in Butcheris without any furniture in his living room, except 100 million US dollars in cash. He celebrated his achievement by popping a bottle of champagne and making love to his wife over the large sum of money. But he didn't stop there. Six years later, he was the brain behind the biggest Ponzi scheme the country has ever seen, scamming the population out of hundreds of millions. In 2008, he was the fifth richest person in the country worth just under a billion dollars. He's been in jail two times, but for short periods of time later being released under medical circumstances. In the same interview, he says he doesn't regret going to jail. He deserved it and he got off really easy. He says, and we quote, if the state would know the things I've done, I'd be locked up for life. Interesting to know is that the richest athlete in the world is not Michael Jordan, but a Romanian tennis player. Well, there you have it, guys. That was seven of the most insane things rich people did with their money. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.